This section is about slopes and y-intercepts and graphing. So for question number seven, we're asked to find the slope and the y-intercept of each line. This is the slope-intercept form of an equation of a line y equals mx plus b, that's slope-intercept form. Where m is the slope, so this is our slope, and b is the y-intercept. That means it's where the part of the graph that crosses the x-axis. It's the y-intercept. So this equation in number 7, it's already in slope-intercept form. We just have to rearrange it just a bit. So we're going to put the negative 2x first, then the plus 8. So this is our m, that's the slope. The slope is negative 2. And this is our y-intercept. That's our b. That's 8. So the slope is negative 2, and the y-intercept is 8. We'll discuss that when we do the other problems as to how do those two things help us find, draw the line, graph the line. So in number 13, we are asked to use only the slope and the y-intercept to graph these lines. So the y-intercept is 5. That's our b. That means that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. This is the y-axis. And our graph crosses the y-axis at, at 5. I don't know why I wrote negative 5. I apologize about that. So. We go to 5 on the y-axis, and we put a point there. We then use our slope, which is negative 1. That means it's negative 1 over 1 to find a few more points on the graph. We use rise over run. Now, negative 1 is the same thing as negative 1 over 1 or 1 over negative 1. These are all the same as negative 1. So we could, from the y-intercept, which is our 5, the point 5, com, the point 0, comma 5, that's where x is 0. We go either down 1 and to the right 1. So we do that a few times, down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, or we go up 1 and to the left 1. So we could do that a few times as well. So when we go up, that's positive 1. When we go to the left, that's negative 1. Or when we go down, that's negative 1, and to the right is positive 1. Now we connect all those points, and that gives us a line. We really only need to connect two points in order to draw a line, but the more points you have, the more accurate the line looks. Now here, we can see that we have an x-intercept right here at 5. That means if x is 5, what y should be 0. And if we go back to the original equation, and we put 5 for x, so that means negative 5 plus 5, y could be 0, and it is. That's like a one way to verify that our graph is accurate. So for number 21, we're going to put the equation in slope-intercept form. That means we're going to get y by itself. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. So we have negative y equals negative 3x plus 6. We write the x part first because that looks more similar to our y equals mx plus b. Now we need to divide both sides by negative 1. 
An easy way to do that is to just change all the signs. That means that's dividing by negative 1. So our equation is in slope-intercept form. It's y equals 3x minus 6. Okay, so our y-intercept is negative 6 right there on the y-axis. This is the y-axis. We use the slope, rise over run. It's 3 over 1 or negative 3 over negative 1 because negative over negative is positive. So we go up 3 from our y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. We do that a few more times, 1, 2, 3, over 1. We do it in the negative direction, 1, 2, 3, that's down 3, and to the left, 1. Negative divided by negative is positive. Okay, and now we connect all these points. We can do one more, up 3 and over 1. Okay, 3 over 1, and now we connect these points. And there is our line. Based on this graph, the x-intercept is at 2. So that means there's a point 2 comma 0 on this graph. So if we go back to the equation and we put 2 for x, 3 times 2 is 6. And we put 0 for y, so 6 minus 0 is 6, and it is accurate. That's just my little way of making sure that it makes that the graph is done correctly okay now let's go to this one number 29 we're going to get y by itself that means we're going to divide both sides by 2 so y equals 3 over 2x plus nothing so that means plus 0 so our y intercept is at 0 that means it hits the y-axis, the graph hits the y-axis at 0. Then rise over run, rise 3, run 2, or go down 3, and to the left, 2. Negative over negative is positive. So we rise 3 from the y-intercept, we'll go up 3, and run, that means go over 2, or go down 3, and to the left, 2. So we have three points. That's good enough. We could do more, but it's not that necessary. We connect these points, and there's our line. We can't really double check the x and y intercepts. They're both, it's just 0, 0. And there it is when x is 0, y is 0.